morning, friends. Greetings and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures if you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your health and vitality and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body, you are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health challenge. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 30 years of practicing pharmacy, I've seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like acne, psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle, but what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system, it is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment basis, and while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, we are here for you on the bright side. 844-236-6010 is our number, 844-236-6010. If you have questions about the longevity products, longevity business, formulations, ingredients, skin health questions, connective tissue issues, a health challenge you or a loved one may be dealing with, we are here for you. 844-236-6010 is our number. And, of course, if you have a success story or if you just want to contribute to the conversation, 844-236-6010 is our our number today and every day on the bright side. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised or recommended, head over to brightsideben.com, criticalhealthnews.com, or pharmacistben.com. And if you want to purchase any of our Truth Skin Health products, including our Retinol 5% Gel or Truth Serum, Truth Balm, or Truth Omega 6 Healing Cream, go to truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. We also have a skin health blog at truthtreatments.com as well. Okay, welcome back to The Bright Side once again. The Bright Side is your idea blending program. We blend ideas. We blend ideas of nutrition, biology, chemistry, biochemistry, history, quantum physics, medical politics, a little bit of sports. I think that's so important, this idea of blending ideas, of connecting ideas. We've been talking about the connective tissue for the last few months, and the connective tissue is the essence of connection in the body. Blending ideas, connecting things together, this is what makes the bright side so unique. It's what makes the bright side philosophy so unique, this bringing together of seemingly disparate ideas and viewpoints and schools of thought. Dr. Wallach does the same thing. This is what makes his presentation so compelling and so interesting and so entertaining, as well as as well as his books. Doc brings anthropology and horticulture and nutrition and health and biology, American history, medical history, and a lot more stuff into a, a coherent philosophy and a way of looking at the world that is singularly Dr. Wallach's. We've been talking about the connective tissue for, I don't know, four or five months now. The connective tissue connects the body structures and body's components into a a coherent whole. This is obvious. But the connective tissue does more than that. It connects the outside world with the inside world. The connective tissue senses and absorbs environmental electrical energy. Over the last 20 years or so, scientists have discovered that the body, via the connective tissue, can access a huge reservoir, a huge supply supply of electrical energy that is endlessly streaming from the surface of the earth. We can literally recharge our electrical energy via the connective tissue, via the earth, through our feet. This is, this is the reason why people like the feeling of walking barefoot on the grass. The grass acts like a conduction element for the Earth's electrons that are constantly streaming. 
for millennia. This is how human beings walked around. For only the last five or 10,000 years, we've lost this connection and perhaps not coincidentally, we become sicker and sicker. And sure, there's a lot of causes for this, food processing, fast-paced lifestyle, chronic fear mode that are uh, 21st century and 20th century and 19th century lifestyles have, have promoted. But now some scientists actually believe that simply wearing shoes may be a major contributor to the physiologic breakdown and to the disease crisis that we are all enduring. According to a January 2012 article published in the Journal of Environmental and Public Health titled Earthing, Health Implications of Reconnecting the Human Body to the Earth's Surface Element, uh, Surface Electrons, lest you think this is some kind of airy-fairy idea. This is, a, this is a, a scientific study that was published in a very highly regarded peer-reviewed journal, the Journal of Environmental and Public Health. Scientists concluded, quote, reconnection with the Earth's electrons has been found to promote intriguing physiologic changes and subjective reports of well-being, unquote. The article goes on to list a whole bunch of benefits associated with walking barefoot. They call this earthing. They call it grounding, including better sleep, improved mood, faster healing, reduced pain. All of this is just from walking around without any shoes or socks. The connective tissue also connects a bunch of different ideas together. The connective tissue connects the health relevance of energy and light and spirituality and acupuncture and quantum physics with disease and with aging, as well as with nutrition. In fact, I would venture to say it's possible that all health challenges, all disease, somehow begins at the level of the connective tissue. And I would say it's pretty darn likely that all disease begins somehow at the level of the connective tissue. Certainly that was the take of the early osteopathists. Osteopathy is a school of medicine, a very uh, an institutionalized school of medicine. It's not airy-fairy. It's literally hardcore medical science. It's a sanctioned medical discipline. Osteopathy was started by uh, a couple of guys named Andrew Still and Arthur Hildreth. Actually, they were among the fathers of osteopathy. Doctors of osteopathy are called DOs. You may have heard that term, DOs. And DOs have a understanding of the health relevance of the connective tissue. They have an understanding of the health relevance of nutrition and diet and exercise as well. In fact, it's not a stretch, no pun intended, to say that uh, DOs specialize in the connective tissue. They're the medical doctors of the connective tissue. Alexander, uh, Alexander Still, who is considered to be the father of osteopathy. Osteopathy, by the way, means bone disease. And it refers to uh, Dr. Still's emphasis on working with the hips and the ankles and other bones in the body, as well as joints, in order to cure disease or in order to relieve pain. These, uh, uh, many of the symptoms of pain, of course, as we've said before, are related to how the bones and the connective tissue are set up. There's so many interesting angles you can take when it comes to the connective tissue. I personally am absolutely fascinated with the electronic nature of the connective tissue. I find the idea that we are electrical beings and the electrical charge of the body and, and the relevance of the electrical charge of the body incredibly interesting, incredibly fascinating. We are electrical beings and this electrical energy is carried through the connective tissue. And it's not just electrical energy, it's light energy. The connective tissue is electrical wiring and it's also fiber optic wiring. And this electrical nature of the connective tissue and the, and the light nature of the connective tissue makes the connective tissue an information processor. It makes the connective tissue a type of brain. It's a type of intelligence. The connective tissue stores information and it processes information electrically and fiber op optically. It also stores traumas. It stores memories because it has a plastic nature. It could be deformed. As experiences occur, the connective tissue literally responds to those experiences by deforming and changing shape. And this, ch this shape changing nature of the connective tissue can be visually observed. It can be visually observed as a relaxation or a lengthening. It could, rela uh, it could be observed as a tightening or a shortening, or it could be uh, observed as a relaxation or lengthening. Everything we experience creates some kind of connective tissue change. And the more vivid the experiences of our life, the more def uh, deformation, the more tightening, or the more relaxing 
will occur inside the connective tissue. And this is particularly important and particularly problematic when it comes to negative emotions and traumas. This is so important because as our lives accrue and as our lives go on, we get more and more of these traumas and we get more and more connective tissue deformation. And this has a huge impact on our health. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. We will return right after this. On the bright side, I'm Pharmacist Ben. 844 is our number. If you have questions about health, nutrition, prescription drugs, if you have a comment or success story, we'd love to hear from you. 844 is our number. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products here advertised or recommended on the program, head over to my blog, pharmacistben.com or criticalhealthnews.com or Ben Fuchs, or, I'm sorry, or uh, brightsideben.com. You can purchase products off the website. So you can also go to Ben Fuchs Archive. Com. We got all our websites linked up on one website. Thank you to Peter in the UK for setting that up, benfuchsarchives.com. And of course, if you want to purchase any Truth Skin Health products, you want to go to truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. We'll get your calls here in our next segment, and please try to call in early so we can get to as many calls as possible. We're talking about the connective tissue, the brain in the body, the second brain in the body, or maybe the third brain in the body. The digestive system is also a brain. The digestive system's brain, the connective tissue's a brain, or the, the three pounds of goo that sit in our cranium is a brain. Every one of our cells is really a type of intelligence. Our body is the, the essence of intelligence. Everything in the body is intelligence, is intelligent. Everything in the body is consciousness. Even every little cell, of which we have 100 trillion, is a little conscious entity. And the whole thing is woven together via the connective tissue. As we go through our lives and experience circumstances, good and bad, it shows up in the body. It shows up in all the cells of the body, our experiences do. Our experiences show up certainly in the nervous system, and our experiences show up in the connective tissue. And this is particularly problematic when it comes to negative emotions. Negative emotions show up in the body. Negative emotions show up in the connective tissue. And depending on how strong they are, they can cause a dramatic and sometimes a permanent, or at least semi-permanent, lifelong change, a shortening, a, a contraction of the connective tissue and the muscles as well, because the muscles and the connective tissue are, in, are sort of embedded in each other. This is called fascial memory, as in uh, the fascia, fascial memory, and it's the basis of body work and rolfing and even massage as a therapeutic modality for emotional scarring. Massage therapists know that when, uh, when uh, their patients get massaged, very often they'll start to cry on the massage table. Motions are actually released. Traumas are actually released from their storage spaces in connective tissue, and this can trigger an emotional reaction right on the massage table. Over time, as the impact of emotional traumas accrue and build up, posture can also be affected. And because the posture itself will impact the nervous system and impact the brain, you get this vicious cycle where trauma affects the connective tissue and the posture, which signals the brain that something is wrong. This further affects the connective tissue and the posture, which further affects the brain, sending more something's wrong signals, which in turn affects the connective tissue and the posture, and so on. You get this vicious downward spiral. If you're observant, you can tell a lot about a person's experiences, about a person's life experiences by watching their posture. And we all do this subconsciously because we know, at least from an intuitive perspective, perspective, if not a, a blatant conscious perspective, that how someone holds their bodies or how they stand or how they sit, it has meaningful information. It can tell us a lot about a person. When people walk with their heads down, they can appear distressed or they can appear like they're lacking confidence as opposed to walking with your shoulders back and your, and your head held high. It's impossible to be depressed if you hold your posture in a certain way. I remember reading a book by Anthony Robbins maybe 25 or 30 years ago called Unlimited Power. He talks a lot about the idea of holding your body in certain ways in order to access certain emotions. This is uh, a component of what is known as neuro-linguistic programming. Maybe you've heard of this, NLP. Anthony Robbins started his own version of NLP called Robbins Research, but it's the same idea. 
how we hold our bodies has a huge impact on how we feel, on our emotions. You can experiment with using uh, different connective tissue shapes or, or changing your connective tissue intentionally to affect your mood by doing something called a power pose. When you're stressed out, if you have some kind of event that you gotta go to, you got a, a talk that you have to give or you're meeting with your boss or someone you don't like or someone you're afraid of, spend one or two minutes doing a power pose before you go into your meeting. A power pose is just basically standing uh, tall like you're the king of the world. Hold your head high, hold your chest down and your, put your arms over your head if you like. Put your arms really high over your head like you just scored a touchdown or you just won a gold medal. Put your hands on your hips and, and hold your feet uh, uh, shoulder width apart. That's called the Wonder Woman pose. According to researchers, the effect on the connective tissue by holding your body in these different ways, by holding your body in these different postures, will reduce the impact and the secretion of cortisol, stress hormone. And this will, uh, in turn, relax the connective tissue. This will further decrease the levels of stress hormone and cortisol. And ultimately, instead of a negative feedback loop, you're going to get a positive feedback loop. This will end up ultimately helping you feel more powerful and confident if you're depressed. It will help alleviate depression. As I say, it's impossible to be depressed if you hold your body in a certain way. And depression is inevitable if you hold your body in other ways. How you hold your body will affect your mood inevitably. There's a great YouTube video of a uh, TED talk given by a Harvard professor, Harvard psychologist named Amy Cuddy, and she talks about, uh, and that's C-U-D-D-Y, Cuddy, and she discusses this, uh, this phenomenon in more detail. All negative emotions will cause a contraction or a shortening or a tightening of the connective tissue. And this will in turn cause a tightening and a contraction of the muscles. And ultimately, this cannot help but change our posture and distort our posture. And it gets worse as we age and the effects of gravity kick in. This is so fundamental. And it's one of the main reasons why you'll see folks who are aging getting shorter. My mom used to be 5'4", now she's 5'1". It's one of the main reasons why people as they age will get that hunched over position. It's the long-term effect of negative emotions. It's the long-term effect of nutritional deficiencies. It's the long-term effect of cortisol and stress hormones. Charles Darwin was one of the first, uh, one of the first guys to observe this effect of uh, fright and tight. I call it fright and tight. Like fright and fight, except a fright or fright and flight, except it's fright and tight. As we get scared, we get tighter. He wrote about it in a book called The Expression of the Emotions in Men and Animals. He noticed that one of the first reactions that occurs when humans and animals have a scary event or a situation is a contraction of the connective tissue muscles in the solar plexus. If you are unfortunate enough to have to have some kind of surgery where they cut into the abdomen, this condition can be made much worse by what are called adhesions. We've talked about abdominal adhesions and there are almost inevitable 90 to 95 percent of folks who have gallbladder surgeries or, or hysterectomies or uh, or uh, digestive tract surgeries, any kind of surgery where they're going to cut into the abdomen, 90 to 95% will experience abdominal adhesions. In fact, any surgical procedure, if you have back surgery or shoulder surgery, if you have knee surgery, you're ultimately or inevitably going to experience these, uh, these adhesions, these sticky components in the connective tissue, and these will signal a fear response, and you won't even know it. It'll be a subconscious fear response. It'll just be a something's wrong response. And it may have nothing to do with what's going on in your, in your experiences, in your circumstances. It could be simply related to the adhesions that are caused by the surgery. Did your surgeon tell you that before you took your gallbladder out? Probably not. My pharmacist Ben, you're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back right after this. All right, we are back on The Bright Side. I'm pharmacist Ben. Thanks for listening, friends. We're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific and 10 to 11 Central Time, 24-7 on our archive page, brightsideben.com, also benfuchsarchives.com. You can purchase longevity products off of brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com, and you can purchase our Truth Skin Health products, including our Retinol 5% Gel. 
at truthtreatments.com if you're dealing with dark spots or skin tags or accelerated aging of the skin or you want to prevent accelerated aging of the skin if you have acne blemishes. Retinol is your go-to active ingredient. Nothing beats it from a nutritional standpoint. In fact, nothing beats it, period. Retin-A being a version of retinol or retinol being a version of retin-A is well known as the only prescription topical for uh, natural prescription topical, I should say, for treating acne. There are, there are analogs of retinoic acid now that are, are available, adapalene and dapsone and such, but it's all based on the idea that the retinoids, particularly vitamin A and retinoic acid, are the major active ingredient, the most important active ingredient for dealing with acne blemishes. You don't need a doctor now because you can get our retinol 5% gel, which I formulated to be equipotent, to have the same potency as retinoic acid 0.05%. And oh yeah, you get a whole bunch of vitamin C in my retinol 5% gel as well, vitamin C being the second most important active ingredient, uh, topical, topically active ingredient for skin health, for dealing with acne or accelerated aging or protecting the skin. You can find it all about that at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. Hang on. If you're on hold, we'll get to you in just a moment. From, uh, from Medscape, new research out of Finland, 2,500 men found that uh, high egg intake, eating lots of eggs, or... Or, or, uh, nor high dietary cholesterol were significantly associated with the development of dementia and Alzheimer's disease after 22 years of follow-up. In fact, what they found was that memory problems and brain health and cognitive function may actually be improved by eating an egg a day. No kidding. Thank you, doctor. Hopefully, nobody is paying any attention or, or, or this, this silly notion that eating eggs is somehow problematic, eating egg yolks is somehow problematic, or has negative impact on health can be thrown out the window, because that ain't true, and never was true. An egg is a perfect food, except for the fact that because it's a high a source of protein, a, a very good source of protein, some people can react to it, and egg allergies are not uncommon. Other than that, other than the allergies that, which do appear, and, and that can be a significant problem, but other than that, eggs are the perfect food. When we say egg, we don't really say what it is. An egg is not a mere egg, it's an egg cell. An egg is a cell. And everything a cell needs to exist and to thrive and to be healthy is found in an egg. It is the perfect food for a cell. And as we've said so many times in this program, all disease is cell disease. An egg is the perfect multivitamin for a cell. It's the perfect multinutrient for a cell. It's got everything a cell needs, not just vitamins. It's got the minerals, and it's got the fats, and it's got the accessory nutrients. It's got the immune factors. It is nature's most powerful natural food. Whey protein is also, it's right up there, whey protein. In fact, whey protein may be more powerful, but whey protein is processed. An egg is not processed. It is the perfect food source. And unless you have an egg allergy, it's a good idea to be eating them on a regular basis. All right, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. Got lines open for you. Good morning, Mary in Oregon. How you doing, Mary? Mary, Mary. Do we have Mary? Mary, you there? Mary? Can you hear me now? Ah, hey, Mary. What's going on? Please go into detail about your blemish repair complex regarding hangovers. Okay. Thank you for asking, Mary. Um, blemish repair complex, I formulated it to be for uh, as an acne treatment, but because most acne has at least some basis in liver health, all the nutrients that I used for the acne formula are good for the liver. And of course, the liver is the, the main organ of detoxification of alcohol. So once you start using your blemish repair complex, you'll notice that you're not getting hung over if you're drinking alcohol. In fact, you'll notice that you're not, you're not getting drunk as easily either because your, your body is more able to purify the alcohol. But it's not just alcohol. It's any kind of liver 
liver toxicity. And we've talked about this before. If you're taking prescription drugs, you are stressing out your liver, and this is not going to show up in the side effect profile. So if you're on a prescription drug or you're on multiple prescription drugs, you definitely want to be using the blemish repair complex or at least the nutrients that are in the blemish repair complex. I created the blemish repair complex, Mary, because I was always telling people to use NAC for acne and vitamin A for acne and zinc for acne and vitamin B5 for acne and the B complex for acne and selenium for acne. So instead of having you go to the health food store and buy a whole bunch of different supplements, I just put it all into one supplement. That's what the blemish repair complex is, especially the N-acetylcysteine, which I consider to be the most important, certainly one of the most important of the non-essential nutrients, N-acetylcysteine or NAC. NAC alone can be great for a hangover. If you don't use the blemish repair complex, you can just get NAC by itself. There's also vitamin E in our blemish repair complex, and vitamin E and selenium and NAC all work together. NAC is well known in emergency room by emergency room physicians. They f it's found in emergency rooms because it's the go-to remedy for liver toxic or liver poisoning from Tylenol or from aspirin. They'll put the NAC right in your blood. It's a chelating agent. It helps protect the body from from uh, the toxicity associated with heavy metals. NAC is also converted by the body into one of the most underappreciated of all the amino acids, and that's something called taurine. Taurine is a highly electrical substance. Taurine can help chelate heavy metals. Taurine is extremely important for the heart. If you're a vegetarian, you're very likely going to be deficient in taurine because taurine is only found in animal foods. So using our blemish repair complex, if you're a vegetarian, can help your body make taurine using N-acetylcysteine can do that. Uh, there's also, uh, as I say, vitamin E in our uh, blemish repair complex, and vitamin E can help accelerate the healing of the skin if you're dealing with acne. It's also important for the liver, and like NAC, vitamin E is one of those underappreciated nutrients. In fact, I think I may have said this uh, last week, when I was in pharmacy school in the 1980s, vitamin E was not even considered to be all that important. Even today, the recommended daily allowance for vitamin E is a paltry 14 international units, which is nothing. Vitamin E is not found in a lot of foods. It's hard to get. Uh, you have to eat a lot of sunflower seeds or wheat germ oil. Those are the main. Those are the best sources of vitamin E. But it's really difficult to get enough vitamin E in foods. That's another one that's a must-have supplement. Of course, there's vitamin A in our blemish repair complex. Vitamin A is important for the liver. It's important for the eyes. It's important for the immune system, and it is unbelievably valuable for folks who are dealing with acne. Another critical nutrient nutrient that you'll find in our uh, blemish repair complex, another critical nutrient for dealing well, not just with acne, but with accelerated aging of the skin. Uh, it can help prevent wrinkles of the skin. It's also a moisture factor, so it can help moisturize the skin. Zinc is the go-to mineral. We said this many times. It's the go-to mineral for folks dealing with acne. You'll get zinc in our blemish repair complex. Thanks for asking about that. I don't talk about our blemish repair complex all that often. I probably should talk more. It's uh, $49.95 for a month's supply. I recommend you take three capsules a day. Some folks are noticing that if they take a fourth capsule every couple of days, they get even better benefits. Uh, that's something you may want to try. Certainly take at least two capsules a day of our blemish repair complex, but I recommend three. And, and as I say, uh, some folks are getting benefits from taking uh, an extra one every now and then. Hey, Mary, if you uh, send me an email, ben at ksco.com, with your mailing address, I'll send you out a free bottle of the blemish repair complex. Thanks for asking. Appreciate it. Hope that helps, Mary. You want to hang on or, you, or is that good? That's good. Thank you. Okay. Have a great day. We'll talk to you again soon. Bye-bye. Paid monitor. Okay, we are back on the bright side. Got lines open for you. 844 is our number. If you want to purchase any of our True Skin Health products, including our Blemish Repair Complex, which I don't talk a lot about, but I, I probably should, and I probably will be talking more about our Blemish Repair Complex if you're on a, a prescription drug, if you're dealing with skin health problems, if you want a good liver detox. Blemish Repair Complex contains all the nutrients important for good liver health, for good skin health, just for good health in general. It's not a multiple vitamin. You need, a, you need more than our Blemish Repair Complex, but certainly can bump up the benefits of your multiple vitamin regimen, of your Beyond Tangy Tangerine and Healthy Start Pack regimen. You can find out all about our Blemish Repair Complex at truthtreatments.com along with our retinol 5% gel, truth serum, truth balm, and truth omega-6 healing cream. That's truthtreatments.com, 
truetreatments.com. 844-236-6010 is our number. Good morning, Stuart in Denver, Colorado. How you doing, Stuart? Good morning. Good morning, man. Uh, How you doing? Really good. Thanks to you at Doc Wallach. Oh, that's awesome. Have I met you before, <laughs> Stuart? Have I seen you before? Uh, yeah, but we've also the phone and... Okay. If I have uh, nasal polyp. Oh, um, you're that steward. I didn't realize yeah, you lived in Denver. Disability. Yeah. Yeah. How you doing? How's really your name? Really How's good. your schnoz? How's the how are the nasal well, polyps? I, the polyp struck back twice and then reoccurred. Okay. But I know I'm on the right track because I have energy and I can actually work and be projective in the awesome. society and all that kind of stuff. Awesome. But, uh, my question is about fibrosis in the uh, kidney. Okay. Um, I was just reading a bunch of research about fibrosis in there and the pedal glands. And since mm -hmm. you were on that topic, I just wanted to know what you could do. Maybe save the pedal glands for some other day. But uh, well, the, the pineal gland is like a master gland. It's uh, it's your it's your uh, uh, Descartes called it the seat of the soul. It is uh, similar to the, or analogous to the, the seventh chakra in in Eastern medicine or or in Eastern spirituality, and it is considered to be the major, most important uh, structure in the brain that's linked to consciousness, especially to day-night cycles. You probably heard of the substance called DMT, dimethyltryptamine, which is a, an amazingly powerful mysterious substance that's found in the pineal gland, and it pretty much controls everything in the body. It's linked to the pituitary gland, which is considered to be the master gland, um, but as far as fibrosis goes, it's not so much a pineal gland issue as it is a repair issue. There's no diseases right. that are not associated with some kind of fibrosis, and it can occur in various parts of the body, and if you go to the doctor, they may give you anti-inflammatories, or they may give you pain pills if some pain is involved, but they can't do anything about fibrosis. It's the major cause of death in terms of heart disease because heart disease is the leading cause of death and there's no heart disease without without fibrosis. Cholesterol deposits are, go hand in hand with fibrosis. Fibrosis in the brain is associated with Alzheimer's disease. Fibrosis in the kidneys and various structures of the body are associated with kidney disease and, and, and the diseases of other structures. So whenever you have fibrosis, you, you're looking at the body's attempt to patch something up or to repair something. In the kidneys, this is not uncommon because the kidneys are subject to a a lot of damage. There's a lot of microscopic blood vessels. I mean, this idea of microscopic blood vessels is so fascinating to me because it means that you have these vessels in the body that carry blood that are so small you can't even see them with your eyes. They, this, this tube, a vessel is a tube, this blood vessel or blood tube could be sitting right in front of you on your table and you wouldn't even see it. It's microscopic. That is a mind-blowing notion that you have microscopic vascular, vasculature, microscopic tubing, tubing that is so small you cannot see it with the naked eye. And in the kidneys, this microscopic tubing is wrapped around, miles of the stuff is wrapped around super tightly and it functions as a filter for the blood so that it cleans the blood out. As the blood becomes toxic, these microscopic tubes become damaged. This is what kidney disease is. Kidney disease uh. is the end result of microscopic assaults, damage on the microscopic, on the vasculature. And why does it happen? Because the blood is sludgy and dirty. That's why I always say, all disease is cell disease, but all cell disease is preceded by dirty blood. Dirty blood, dirty blood, dirty blood. I don't know how much more I could emphasize this, and it's so important because we control what gets into the blood. There's no magic here. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We control yeah, the reading, blood. Go ahead. I was reading I was reading in studies in Canada and England that said that people were misdiagnosed with all kinds of stuff because of kidney fibrosis. Mostly men had their prostates removed. Is that right? Even though it was fibrosis in their kidney. And then I was also reading about the that the blood vessels, the tiny blood vessels, I forget what you said, but that the math doesn't add up, that the, the heart can't pump, the, yeah. the, the blood cells are bigger than the calcified the, the, capillaries the, or whatever they are, and it, so the math doesn't add up, so maybe light, and UV light in particular from the sun, actually drives that mechanic at the end of the 
blood vessel. Well, well what, you, what you're getting to is this idea, and I mentioned it briefly, and I'll probably talk about it a little bit more. The heart is not necessarily the pump that we, we've been taught it is. You know, this idea that the heart is a pump is not really proven, and it doesn't kind of doesn't even make sense because how can a pump that's located in, in your chest somehow push blood th through 50,000? And blood is sticky stuff, by the way. Anyway, it has a viscosity. How can heart the heart pump a, a, a viscous substance through 50,000 miles of vasculature, some of which is microscopic? It, it can't. It, it, it's almost impossible for that to occur. So there's a lot of scientists now who believe that it's not necessarily the heart that's pumping the blood, but it's actually electrical interactions in the blood that are sort of electro, electromagnetically conducting or pushing the heart through the vessels. Of course, as the blood becomes sticky, this becomes less likely to occur, and the blood becomes sticky not only from toxicity, but also from stress. Stress will also cause a vasoconstriction, a, 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 a closing up of blood vessels, so the stress and the fear response can have an effect. Stress can also cause blood clotting problems. So all of these combine to create an assault on the very tiny ve uh, blood vessels in the body, in the eyes, as well as the kidneys. And, and by the way, the, perhaps the biggest uh, uh, assault on the, these small vessels comes from sugar. And this is why diabetes is associated with amputations and it's yeah. associated with neuropathies and kidney disease and blindness because sugar creates a major stress on the blood vessels. But the point here, Stuart, is that we have control. We have control over this process. And if somebody's telling you that you have uh, 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 poorly functioning kidneys and they want to do some kind of uh, kidneys, they want to put you on dialysis, the first thing you want to think about is lowering your sugar intake. And of course, yeah. nutritional supplements can help as well, using nutrients yeah. that help yeah. your body process sugar. And then one last thing is sugar talk uh, is a food toxicity, especially from gluten. Yeah. Go ahead, uh, real quick, Stuart. Yeah, what, what, so after you clean up the cause, do you think it's reversible? Do yes, it's yes, it's yes, it, absolutely it's reversible, depending on how significant it is, but absolutely, yeah, theoretically, it's reversible. Like, in my sinuses, I've uh, amazed all of my doc specialists who are surgeons because I take uh, the pineapple... Uh, Enzyme? Enzyme, yeah, which is softened, you know. Yeah. They say you, you have to cut them out because they're hard. They so you've actually softened the you, hard. You've actually yeah. softened the tissue. I, I'm not surprised. And, Pineapple and enzyme I've and got them back, I've got them to shrink back twice on a ketogenic diet, but I'm not sure what you know what's triggering them again or you know i haven't got to the complete root but i know that it's possible now so exactly you know it's possible and that's the key know that it's possible you know i'm giving you all kinds of information on this program but we have to contribute something as patients i can give you the information but what you guys got to contribute is belief knowing it's possible okay. willingness with that belief with that willingness with that knowledge that it's possible plus the information that you get on this program i firmly believe that any chronic long term Degenerative health issue can be reversed. Hey, I want to get one more call in, Stuart. Thanks so much, buddy. Have a beautiful yeah, day, thank man. Thank you very much. Thank you. Take care. Marla in St. Louis, you get the last word. What's going on? Yes, hi there. I have radical sun damage. I was a week in the Middle East uh, visiting the tourists without a sun hat in my 20s, and then when I was 40, I had the friend do a plant nursery for fun in between teaching semesters. And Marla, I, Marla, we got a bad connection. Ma'am, we got a really bad connection. I'm hearing sun damage in the Middle East. I heard something about that. Uh, if you have sun damage issues, you want to regard that as a connective tissue problem. Use all your connective tissue building strategies and internal as well as topical. It's for all sun damage issues. I think that's what you were, you were saying. I had a hard time hearing you, uh, Marla. Uh, for sun damage issues, number one, get on your um, a bone broth protein as well as glucosamine and, and chondroitin. Treat yourself like an arthritis. Sun damage is, is arthritis of the skin. So treat yourself like you have arthritis, like an arthritic. Uh, use glucosamine, chondroitin, bone broth protein, bone broth itself, uh, as well as vitamin C. You can't make connective tissue without vitamin C. Uh, internally, vitamin A can help you. Lots of good minerals. Zinc and sulfur are important for building connective tissue. And topically, get my retinol 5% gel as well as truth serum. Both vitamin A and vitamin C topically can do really good things for sun-damaged skin. I wish I had more time, but that's just all the time we have on the Bright Side.
Thanks for listening, friends. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Check out our skin health products at truthtreatments.com and the longevity products at criticalhealthnews.com, pharmacistben.com, and brightsideben.com. And sign up to join the Brightside Ben team. Love to have you on the Brightside Ben team. Uh, 844-866-735-2470 is a phone number if you want to talk to a real live person. And that's all the time we have for today. Have a wonderful, awesome, beautiful, spectacular day. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Bye for now. 